Welcome to another of your English Homeschooling Project, Área Comunicación, Campo del Conocimiento Inglés, 7th grade. Remember that in our daily routine, there are actions that stop spreading coronavirus, such as when you wash your hands, also when you wear your face mask, and most importantly is when you stay home. In today's distant learning, the topic that we are going to continue working on is present perfect tense with the words since and for to specify more about the time. Okay, right now we are going to listen to a phone survey between Miguel and Amelia. Hello. Hi, Miguel. How have you been? Hi, Amelia. I've been pretty well, thanks. Can you please help me answer in a phone survey? Sure, why not? Go ahead. How long have you studied English? I have studied English since 2019. How long have you had a cell phone? I have had a cell phone for five months. How long have you lived in your house? I've lived in my house since May. How long have you been a student? I've been a student for a long time. Miguel, we have finished the survey. Thanks for answering the questions. Sure, Amelia. Anytime you need me. Bye. Bye, Miguel. Okay. As you may observe, Miguel expressed the words since and for in some of his answers to the survey. But do you know when to use since and when to use for? Don't worry. Right now we are going to discover it. This chart is going to help us to understand when to use since and when to use for. On the left, we find the explanation that says that we use since to mention a specific point in time. In the example number one, we find that days of the week is an example of a specific point in time. Another example is when we tell the time, such as when we express two o'clock or 6.30. Another example is when we express the month of the year. For example, January, February, March, and all the month of the year. And the last example is when we mention the year number such as 1895, 1987, or the year 2000, or 2009. Right now, on the, on the right, we are going to find the explanation that says that we use for to mention a period of time. A period of time means that we are not specific about telling when that action happened. A way to understand it better is when we express a number plus the time word. And here we find three examples. Look, five minutes. Phi is the number, minutes is the time word. Another way is six days, two weeks, seven months, 10 years, two centuries, a half hour, a while, a long time. Now we are going to see these examples put on examples of sentences. Let's analyze the use of since and for. First, since is for a specific point in time. Example number one. I haven't ridden a bike since 2011. We have been in quarantine since March. She has studied English since eight o'clock in the morning. Arnold has lived in the Bay Island since 1998. Okay. In the first examples about since, we see that in the sentence number one, 
we end the sentence with a specific point in time mentioning the year 2011. In the second example, we use the month of the year expressing March. In the example number three, we find that the example is telling the time, which is eight o'clock in the morning. And the last example is another way to express the year. Now we are going to see examples about expressing the word for, which is when we mention a period of time. They have been married for seven months. Maricela has worked in the same company for a long time. You have studied online for eight months. He has painted his room for three hours. In these examples, we find the expressions in the number one, seven months, which is a period of time, mentioning the number and the time word, in this case, month. The example number two, a period of time is a long time. In the example number three, eight months. And in the last example, we find a period of time mentioning three hours. Good. Right now, it's your turn to listen and answer the following phone survey. Pay a carefully attention. How long has Honduras been an independent country? Honduras has been an independent country, 1821. 1821 is a specific point in time. So what word are we going to use? Since or for? Since. Honduras has been an independent country since 1821. How long has dinosaurs been extinct? Dinosaurs have been extinct millions of years. Millions of years is a period of time. What word are we going to use to complete it? Four. Dinosaurs have been extinct for millions of years. How long have you been in quarantine? I have been in quarantine eight months. Eight months is a period of time. What word are we going to use? Four. I have been in quarantine for eight months. How long has Elisa been friend to Annie? Elisa has been friend to Annie last July. July is a specific point in time. So what were we going to use to complete the sentence? Since. Elisa has been friend to Ali since last July. How long have your cousins lived with you? My cousins have lived with me last Wednesday. Last Wednesday is a specific point in time. Well, what are we going to use to complete it? Since. My cousins have lived with me since last Wednesday. Good. Do you remember the survey between Miguel and Amelia? Right now we are going to observe the expressions that Miguel used in his answers. Hello. Hi Miguel, how have you been? Hi Amelia, I've been pretty well, thanks. Can you please help me answer in a fun survey? Sure, why not, go ahead. How long have you studied English? I've studied English since 2019. Yeah. How long have you had a cell phone? I have had a cell phone for five months. How long have you lived in your house? I've lived in my house since May. How long have you been a student? I've been a student for a long time. Thanks, Miguel, for answering the questions. You're welcome, Amelia. Good. As you may see, right now, we are going to see the examples that Miguel gave in his answers. 
In the number one, we find that he expressed, I have studied English since 2019. 2019 is an example of a specific point in time. In the, in the second example that he gave, he expressed, I have had a cell phone for five months. Five months is an example of a period of time. If you observe, there is a number and the time word. In the example number three, he expressed, I've lived in my house since May. That is an example of a specific point in time because it's mentioned in the month. And the last example is a period of time, not a specific saying, I have been a student for a long time. Okay, students, I hope that you have enjoyed today's lesson about since and for in the present perfect tense. Thanks for watching today's lesson. 2020 virtual class. Bye-bye.